forking of two pole DC motor. Have you ever wondered how the electric shaver works? How electric toys like small robots, toy cars, etc., work? Or how does door glasses of your car open or close just with a single button press? The answer to all the above questions is DC motor. A DC motor is a device that converts DC electrical energy into mechanical energy. In order to understand the working of a DC motor, first we will see the principle on which DC motor works. The working principle behind DC motor is the attraction and repulsion of magnets. In motor, one set of magnets are stationary and other is rotating. Stationary set of magnets can be permanent magnets or electromagnets, but rotating magnets are electromagnets. Electromagnets are made by passing a current through a coil. Direction of North Pole and South Pole are governed by right hand rule, which state that when figures of right hand are curled around the coil in the direction of current flow, thumb points to the North Pole. When a current carrying wire is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. The direction of this force is given by Fleming's left hand rule. Fleming's left hand rule states that if the thumb, forefinger and middle finger of left hand are kept mutually perpendicular to each other and if forefinger points to the direction of flux, middle finger points to the direction of current. The thumb will point to the direction of force. This direction of force determines the direction of rotation of motor. Now we will see how motor actually rotates. When a current is passed in a rectangular coil, it works as electromagnet and hence north and south poles are generated. When these north and south poles comes in magnetic field created by stator magnets, they get attracted by the opposite poles on stator and are repelled by same poles of stator. Direction of motion is given by Fleming's left hand rule. For the given orientation of motor, motor can rotate in both directions, that is, clockwise or counterclockwise. But motor rotates in a direction according to Fleming's left hand rule. Parallel wires of the coil experiences the force. Force from all the coils are added together which in turn rotates the shaft. After half rotation, polarity of electromagnets needs to be reversed for continuous rotation of the motor. That is, North Pole should act as South Pole and South Pole should act as North Pole. This polarity is reversed by changing the direction of current through the coil. This works of changing current direction is done by commutators. Commutators change direction of current for every half rotation, so motor keeps rotating.